Dude, there, okay, there must be a setting somewhere to turn it off. We don't have to do this, but you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine this way. Okay. okay. Awesome. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to do a short um, to, to say this one thing. So every day I do two sessions yesterday four, and each single client, you know, um, says that, oh, I'm lonely. You know, I don't have anybody around me to talk just to simply connect and talk to somebody who understands at the same consciousness level what's going on. And uh, so this client is from Wisconsin. If anybody lives in Wisconsin who is going to watch this video, I can easily connect you. You can just write in the comments under the video and um, he will contact you or you will, you know, you'll ha ha somehow get together <laughs> anyway. Just wanted to say that because I feel like that's a time when we need to connect and support each other because it's getting kind of tough. Mm. I think so. Okay. It's a planet. planet. It's Neptune. I see big rocks sticking out of the water. I see blue sky, blue water. Mermaid type amphibian creatures. No tail though. Legs. I see you walking in a, a humanoid body. It's like a jungle with the um, with the beaches around. Sand is pink, like big grains pink. Looks beautiful. Looks interesting because um, I see our sun and I see some planet and it's shading over the sun a little on the side. Almost looks like a crescent. Oh wait, it's not. It's it looks like like a spaceship. It's it's round. It's coming towards you. It's like dark purple in color, metal. It's it's like a it's like a beautiful metallic ball of purple color coming towards you, and you're waving at it. And I see another one. I see you actually as a female energy. The only reason why I know is that the the other humanoid form who comes from the ship, he looks the same. He's got this five long fingers, for like four toes. And uh, it's like a... It's like a suit, but it's like an invisible suit. It's almost like a trans translucent layer of some second skin layer, whatever that is, he is wearing. I think it's to maintain that the, the body, because the body feels very uh, flexible and energy based. So to f put it like to, to keep it together, you need a suit to go through some portal system that leads you here but you're actually from a different universe suan su see you and no no it's s u a n 31 it's like it's like a planet on the other universe song like this it sounds like a like a sound uh, so you came here to explore, to explore. It's just like a um, universe traveler. But you bring information to some center and it's located in between universe space. There's like a big energy kind of bubble. Uh, that you actually report there's like um 
it's like a inter-universal kind of center where everybody from each universe, there's special groups who come, get information about the development of a particular universe. Again, how about the species? How about the you know, humanoid forms? How they're doing? What's happening there? And you just come. Basically, I see like you both come. He, um, you get off on this planet and that planet. And you've pretty much been to a lot of major planets. Um, just to explore well, our solar system for sure. Just to experience it. But it's like a short pocket of time of experience, basically. For us, it would be like two days stay at some place. And then it's interesting that you absorb information. You put it into this crystal that you have. It looks like the shape is like round and ant like this, like a teardrop. And you just like hold it with your hands and whatever you think goes into it, like you record a file of information type thing. And you pass it to him. And you produce another crystal out of your own energy. Like it's it's like you hold your hands and you want it and it shows up, it appears in your hands. And he goes back. He first picks you up. He drops you off at another location, goes back with his crystal to upload the information. And it's almost like they exchange back and forth and he brings you this one. Now it's free, like a disc, you know, in a way. And then back and forth, you exchange. That's what you've been doing. It's like you carry this calm energy of water or because how I see you, it's like you're like liquid crystal inside. It's transparent, white, but crystalline. And it's got some sparkles of yellow inside, almost like snowflakes connected with each other. Because that's the way it's like you say, that's how my DNA goes. I literally absorb into myself and take it out from myself and record it, upload it to my DNA and every experience, everything about the planet. And it looks like one day when he brought you to this one, it was already taken over because I see you going into tribe. It's, it's just some, I can't understand where it is or what place of the world this is. There's some mountains. You know, it's like, it's, it's like those Hollywood mountains because I get like California and it's, it looks like those mountains there because I also see like a uh, hills covered with grass and that it doesn't look like current nearby LA that that one. But I also saw like mountain Shasta is a big one location for you. And there's different tribes of different. Um, it's it's like you are. You wanted to be there because nobody there, uh, nobody was there yet. But then I see the uh, Europeans come. I see there's kind of like wars happen in between who's gonna colonize that place. But I I see that reptilians dominate because they have the cavern system underneath. And the reptilians start start showing up. You you live in these houses, 
build builds of wood, st wooden sticks. And reptilians start showing up and taking your women and children. And y you know what? You're both. You can be a man or a woman because here you are a man in this tribe. You change your vibrational frequency when you come to, to a planet. You adapt. You even change the color, the energy kind of level. You, you can condense your body, uh, energy body, to make it fit into specific parameters of the kind of the body that exists on that particular planet. And you don't like that. There are ancient reptilians. I mean, they have like spikes all over their bodies. They almost look like dinosaurs, but they're brown in color. And they're very kind of like robust skin, like hard skin was like hard scales. Um, but they're scary. And you, I see people draw them then to tell kids about them, to stay away from the woods, the certain hills, the mountains. They come from the caves, from the mountains there. And 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 that that's one that's like the point I feel that it, it it's like a weird it's like I see a movie and then in the whole thing all the souls that are put here get connected on from different timelines to the greed and the greed like lights up and overpowers the light that I was coming from the center of the earth and feeding everybody with vibration and symbiotic relationship and all like harmony and I, I feel like disharmony and I feel like nauseous here that that's what happened when they put this uh, energy greed and I see it stopped your partner from coming for you to get you the main reason why you also came not only to get information but also spread information from this inter universal kind of federation or you can call it any any way but that's that's like sort of a huge group of beings and everybody uh, every gal um, every universe has a representative from every galaxy in that universe I mean it's a huge organization huge huge um kind of like place to be um, held by the energies of those beings um, as a space and you just get stuck there that's it you can't move uh, you create your you understand how it works you study the system of incarnation here because other planets have totally different system and uh, it's it's literally like I see like a hamster's cage as your subconscious communicates to me that's how you felt it and you keep running and running and this running never stops and you got 328 lives here and you're so tired of that so right right now you just stop that cage it's almost like by feeling how it is you created it in your energy sphere and right now I see like you got out of it. Wait, there's a, some strange thingy appeared when I like kind of connected to you. Because I see your energy body the same kind of like I saw that figure, trans translucent big eyes. Um, your eyes are blue, blue like deep blue. And then there's this thing, metallic, like this, like two triangles, this and like this, and they connect right in your solar plexus, and it feels like somebody put you on this construction to to siphon the energy into this. It's constantly going. It's like literally like a bow tie, but vertical. And it keeps you... Not only that it keeps you, like people don't don't see, um, they, they refuse to reject you. Uh, it amplifies almost like your, 
um, understanding of life. Because you're very wise. You're not only that you're wi wise in this universe, but also from the other ones. And it's like you're absorbed. You have so much information, those little tiny snowflakes that all connected and uh, form your DNA structure. But you also have this, it's kind of like a like um like water crystal water type um that they wanted to somehow divide so i see that structure i i clearly see those the chakra system that seven of them they look like rings outside your body for some reason they always see them inside but they're like you push them out but they're still around you like rings metallic and now i'm telling you to call on Every single be oi. There's something I saw right away. There's like a dragon creature, but it's just like a s looks like a sea dragon with three heads, like literally three heads, but the heads look like snake heads, and the body of huge wings, and the body is like dark green of um like a dragon body. Definitely came from the ocean, and it brings me to the ocean floor. In the ocean floor, there's like big openings, metallic, and they open up. There is like physical openings, and they go through some. You go into some capsule. That's where this dragon comes from. They do some houses in English, um, like chimera, chimera. You know, basically when you're blending human DNA with some animal DNA and you mutate it so many times, it becomes something like really crazy, abnormal looking creature. Um, but they are from there. And I feel like periodically they release them as, um, as they experiment that didn't work out. Because there's certain particular um, uh, characteristics they wanted to get in the programs. And when this creature doesn't um, hold these characteristics after he, it was grown like a hybrid in the tube, then they just like, that's the way they discard it. They don't kill them, they release them into the ocean. And I feel like there's a lot of strange beings out there. There's one looks like a turtle was out that child and looks like a, a head of a, like a fuzzy head, uh, like a beak, long beak, like a duck, but the beak of a bird. Those are from there too. The serpents, there are kinds of creatures with the four that they released. Hey, wait, let's go to the life where how to see how you connected how it got attached to you this dragon is the one he's controlled he's got a boss dragon it's a it's a black creature with one hand stands up on his feet uh looks like also underwater because he's got those like ducks in between the fingers. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, it's like Fiji Islands or some something like this comes like as Fiji Islands that you were there. You're also a little boy. You, you go with your father to die for pearls or or some sea stars, something that you sell. You put them in boxes, and there is like um, it's like an airplane with those things that you can land on water. They come and they take the boxes to sell. They pay you a little money for it, but you survive that way. And it's it's like your father dives first. And he disappears, and you wait on the boat, you're only 12 years old. 
Like he calls you Sumi. And then you dive in after waiting for him like for 20, 30 minutes. And that creature gets your bows. Where there's some spot on your back that this father comes out of you. It's it's like he found you in some other life because he felt so connected to you after he lost his body. And he's literally like sitting in your lower back is the energy I see him. He comes out. He's in low vibration of like loneliness and searching like why is it why is he was his life taken so why did this monster took him and this monster used him in some ways but mostly for energy because the thing is they don't really have anything to feed on energetically that i have a soul so they have to find a soul and that's why you know they would they would wreck a boat they would take the fishermen or something like this or take sw people who swim they would come real close to the beach and but it's mostly that people were catching fish and things like that at that point because it's it's some 18s or going to 19th century um and that's how it, it's it's like that other black one was just stronger than him and he took over him and he told him you're going to be my servant if not i'm going to eat you like that and and that's how he, that's that's his boss but then you open the portal like a large portal for your father and you're asking him because it's your father uh, from that life what should I create for you and he said you know me I like water I like islands create an island and water for me and the same like it was before and you created it for him and high vibrational place and you said like you can create it for yourself you're powerful you know that you you you, you produce these feelings of being that everything is unfair to you, life is unfair, taken too early, lost your son, and you cannot create those beings. You can take them out of your head, of your chest, of your stomach, everywhere where you keep it, transform it, or just throw it out. And I see he's like, he's making a big ball out of those energies and just opens the portal and throws it out and goes into that space you created for him on that island and it's kind of like a moment when you hug each other after you tell him you can come with him but he can create anything he wants so he doesn't have to work he doesn't have to dive you just leave because he doesn't have physical body it's easy to create from your thought and he just walks in you close the portal I see there's two dragons in your energy sphere. I told you to put them in a cage or freeze them. And you, you put them in some energetic cages. They're the green light cages. And you're taking the structure out of you. The interesting thing, when your partner would come in this translucent suit, like second skin, you hear he had that very sign two triangles merging into each other connected on on the suit on his left shoulder and that's like connecting consciousness from all the uh universes sign um you had a different one you had like four crystals Pointing, pointing different directions in the circle and in the middle there's like a sun but it's it's just um, blue 
with with blue light around. It's it's just your sim symbology um, of your people, like those who are spread information, take information, share it, explore. Uh, so you took that one out. It's like you disassembled it. Took the chakra seven rings off of you, out of you. And then, you know, he was doing, he was basically infusing you with his own vibration. Was, was that construction around you? They was like shooting you with, um, it has something. So he would pull energy out of you. He would transform it into negative. He would put it inside the tubes of the system that was uh, surrounding you, keeping you kind of like not moving. You couldn't move. You couldn't do much. You couldn't uh, pick the, um, the things that you wanted to do in your life, things like that. And then he would convert it into negative, and that negative would be like suppressing you, pressing you. Um, and also he could transform different energies that would create different uh, thought processes. And it would be hard to uh, deal with. But the thing is, I mean, your, your consciousness level is so high that you are, you, you cannot just go against your own self in your truth. So nobody can really pressure you to do anything. Because just like you passed that point, you passed all these levels, you, you're up here. So you can't go in reverse, you can only go higher. You know, the, the only thing, I, I don't see actual like implants, like metallic or whatever, I see a lot. I see some like little tiny uh, like um, threads. And they go like it's a grid system. It's like up, vertical, and horizontal. And that just created... It's it's like energy points somehow created by this uh, two dragons. They come to you, they literally like, it's just a weird just thing. They do, they have this big nails, sharp, and they would put it into different square of your body. It's like they dissected it into squares and they would get the energy they need from this pretty, or they put it on the heart, they block it, uh, or they create a feeling there. We, they would do that like, like send impulses into the body. It's almost like playing with the nervous system when you pinch a nerve and it does like, oh, it hurts or oh, it creates some signal and with hormonal release or some thoughts starting to spiral. Kind of like, uh, I asked them why they do it. They said that we are entertained by people. People are funny. They make us laugh. That's basically the point why they're doing. I don't see any any other uh, stuff going on with that they would do with you. It's just like they took you as their own property and as if they owned you. Um, in that life connected to you. Yeah, you, yeah, I just saw you like spreading information to those in the tribe in California. And then I saw you giving information to the partner, even though you've always been connected with him telepathically. And deep down, you always felt like you were supported in your standing, in your truth and, um, you know, questioning everything. Because by questioning everything, you sent, you would send ripples into the um this common area where uh, you know most people are hooked to it you're not you burn that little thread it's like um a hive mind type um i see it like a flat basically like a spread out pancake type energy field it's a collective consciousness whatever they connect with a metallic thread 
I see you pulled it out by yourself in like it in a very early stage when you were not in, in, you were not influenced by anybody you figured everything out and that done those first lives how it works how the matrix works behind the scenes you also say there are workers behind the fans who put cords in the fans fences like what we think that it's earth but there's more to it there's more land that we think or we're taught and behind the scene there are workers uh, human workers and also some elf looking beings from under earth who are just um, insert some technology into the um, layers around us they can connect to um, to us when to our body when body is asleep uh, project dreams and also program reprogram our brains our programming just just look, new updates you know so basically you're saying that sometimes people feel that they got new updates it's a lot of times it's actually updated from those workers of matrix uh, because a lot of them are deceiving they, they give you 10% of some truth to it but then most of them are just to program the person to stir the person away from discovery of his own her own self yeah what you did you did you just created this huge machine on top of you which looks like a fan and that fan absorbs all the threads and then pulls out pulls out out of you it keeps spinning and spinning it looks like a it all like stuck it stopped even working because of the threads from your body are you just push it in the portal you open the portal in the ceiling and you push it out push it through um yeah your emotional body it's like you have his layers some of those layers come from the programming that the dragons did and some of it are from you because it's like that that extreme loneliness that comes from your childhood from other lives you're being misunderstood not you know not understood at all it's almost like you don't belong to the family. It's the wrong family. I don't belong here. All those thoughts are in the mental body and all those emotions are in the emotional body. So the, it's like a mixture of your creation and creation creation that was influenced um, to be created by, by those programs in your head, like software programs. So what you do is just you create like a rainbow and you walk through the rainbow <laughs> and it's the colors are going into your translucent energy body and I see it's lighting up in this beautiful colors there are more than 12 colors you say they're all different they come from different dimensions and diff other dimensions you have many more colors than when do we do so you cleanse those bodies i see them clean and they're just kind of blended in merged in with your energy body and i don't see any clones or hybrids like you don't have that any of this i see they're trying to insert but it's only like clearly 2.1 percent of dna that they try to influence you but it's mostly to influence your thinking your behavior but they couldn't do anything about it i see that they abandoned this idea it 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 was done like very slowly throughout the lives a small percentage in each life and you kept like repairing your own dna so that's why it's kind of like um you just pushed you pushed a little ball out it's like um, a ball of this uh, greenish kind of energy from your DNA and um, 
it's like a cheap or something we're supposed to actually also take information and block put blockages on your abilities and your creative abilities put by those um, dragons and you push those dragons into the portal now because this thing is like you ask them about they do you have a contract and they say well the contract is all in those little threads that you pulled out of yourself. We basically like, you know, when you sew something with the needle, they basically did the programming uh, and the contracts into your energy body. Um, and those threads, as I understand, they have in codes. It's almost like sentences. You can read them. Uh, what you agreed to. But you agreed to give them energy and your life energy your and that's how they influenced you they took a lot of your vital energy so it's like am i living am i not this kind of a limbo feeling inside that you felt like you know i as if you were waiting for a plane or a train at the station and it never comes, but you want it to come so badly because you know you need to go home. That's, that's your feelings throughout those 328 lives. That's how you felt. Um, yeah, I see you being clean now. And I see you reconnected with your, like you're back on this ship. You actually cancel that um, you've been stuck here. Totally cancel. Doesn't even exist. So in reality, nobody can ever get you to incarnate here again because uh, there's nothing holding you down here. Uh, most of your subconscious exists in that translucent tall body and you're still flying, but you're flying in different universes. as I see it. But in, in this body, it's like you're still absorbing information. You're going to share it to guarantee, to make sure that no planets, no universes get taken over by anybody like it happened here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you're clean. You can ask questions if you want. Okay. Mm. So it's a good thing to hear, you know, I've been here 328 times, huh? <laughs> I keep coming back. It's, yeah, because you're stuck on this uh, cycle, cycling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you can figure out how to get out of here because you've never experienced anything like this. You know, it's kind of like you try to fly out, but you keep bouncing against some layers. And because the nature, you, you got this nature, you like to study things, you like to explore, to question, because you, you, you know what your problem was, you, you were getting, when you were still free, not, in, not those uh, um, draconians or whoever they are, they were not attached to you and you were totally free in the first three lives as they see, you could have easily escaped if you just focused inside your own self and said like, I, I want nothing to do with this. I don't want to. But then you would get like, oh, look at this. Like, what is that? Why is this room was a laboratory? Why are there so many spaceships here? You know, why are this like, you see those and and what what's up with that? You know, it's like a grid system with, mm, you know how the shelves, bookshelves, mm -hmm. I kind of see it like that, but it's like in cubes. And okay. each cube has its own reality, like, okay, well, if you're Christian, you go to the Christian reality. If you're Hindu, you're going to Hindu. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? They created all this fake <laughs> okay. stuff, and then they tell you, oh, you know, God came, you know, it's all the reptilian shape shifted into your God, and then, oh, you rest, child of God, you know, and da, 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 and I, but I'll come for you, and I'll send you back, type thing, like, you don't have a choice. They would right. really communicate that. So, when you were interested to study this, like, what is this all artificially designed, created? 
Mm. A system you kind of like each time, you know, you would get stuck in limbo. Like I said, that's a feeling from you that's really strong. <laughs> like you all got confused totally. Like, where did you get? Why is this big box? Why is this dome? Why is this fence? Well, what is, you know? I, you know, I, I, even today, you know, I, I, I like to study. I like to study. I like to see the big picture, you know, and understand where things fit, you know. Like, you know, this case of the example, you know, for everything is like a box. I want to know the whole thing and understand where it, what, where what fits and why you know so even at work you know that's what i do so the question i have as a, because of that is i get all the hard jobs at work i seem to get everything that is so darn difficult and they expect me to turn it around quick and so i'm under constant pressure to do the things and i would like to actually enjoy the, what i'm doing Mm. But it's, it's it's been like that all the time. And what I'm trying to say is nobody seems to offer me help. It seems like I always have to offer help to everybody else. You know, I, I cannot understand that part. How did I sign up for that one? So <laughs> because you come from you come from high consciousness. By the way, I see number twelve. Like if you think of density's dimensions, you know, mm -hmm. density level that you're twelve. So it's like high. You don't really comprehend how people think. The thinking of this body does not. Uh, you don't resonate with it. And you're kind, so you know you just that. But that's how we are. You you basically more remember yourself being genial, childlike, exp exploration, knowledge, sharing knowledge, and being nice and kind. It's in human terms, you know, how I can mm -hmm. explain. Mm -hmm. And as kindness taken for weakness, people try to take over you. Exactly, that's exactly what's happening now. You know, I I don't try to be offensive or rebellious but they take that as a weakness as you said mm. and they walk all over me and i'm not able to and they 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 kind of treat me badly you know i can say oh, come on man why, why would you do that so <laughs> right you know? because they feel you're not gonna strike back see see how this game of people like the the game is put together here in the matrix mm -hmm. if you're big powerful and you know they give this expression on your face is serious and nobody wants to deal with you because they're afraid of you mm -hmm. it's kind of like a reptilian idea you know the strongest ones survive and take over others and others are slaves to them mm -hmm. That's kind of like I see your workplace. I see like reptilians that took over you and command you around because they treat you like a slave. Um, I, I, you know, I personally, I'm a person like this. That's why I could never work mm. <laughs> uh, with mm. with people around. Mm. And I, I know, I know, I know a couple people like that too, mm. and I. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Totally. I mean, I kind of like, I really feel your softness and you, you, you're genuine, you're kind, you understand and you listen, you know, and uh, I, we, we just can't, it's, it's hard to survive in this world being like that, but you can't go against your nature. I cannot go against my nature either. Right. Right. You know, that, that's a, that's a, that's probably why, you know, you know, when I think back at my life, I have never had, I've always struggled. It always feels like, you know, I'm swimming upstream. You know, I mean, you know, it's been, every, nothing has been easy. You know, let me put it that way. Nothing has come okay. easy. Everything and for anything and everything, I had to work hard. And, yeah. you know, in spite of all this, somehow I have come this far without losing myself in the process, you know. I'm glad right. about that. Though. So, but you know, as you said, you know, with the reptilian, what do you call the dominant mindset, you know, I have been tossed all around the place, you know, and I've gone through the ringer, really, you know. Yeah. So, so my, my next question would be, I don't want to be working like that. I want to have fun too. You know, I have my own way of having fun, you know, like I want to teach, I want to mentor. 
I want to help others in my own way. So I want to have a kind of a, what do you call a easy, jolly kind of a way of life where I can still make my living. So I'm basically done with the hard work part of it, really. So where, when is that happening? Yeah, those two dragons, like they, they said that they they were kind of putting you in situations and conditions and it's entertaining. That's what I heard a few times from them. It's entertaining. Take control of a human and he doesn't know we're behind the scenes doing mm-hmm. all to him and putting the, those people to torture him with here and there. So, I mean, it's all gone. They're not going to influence you anymore. So you can make a move towards something different because... Mm-hmm. When you're clean, you start searching for something mm-hmm. and that some something starts opening up for you easily. It starts flowing into your life and then you kind of start trusting yourself more because mm-hmm. it's like your own soul puts the right people on your on your way mm-hmm. to help you along the way. Okay. That's okay. how it feels like. But mm. this is my own experience. I speak from my own. Mm-hmm. Before it was everything was like you said hard you know everything from from childhood but then all of a sudden i'm clean people just start coming to me you know everything's like it's like a it's like opportunity after opportunity you just take it because it just presents Mm. itself but it's because when you're connected with your soul Mm. 50 50 connection you're like two partners you know, in business, one mm. is working from the energetic point of view, putting the, and you're working from your physical point of view. Mm-hmm. You just stably produce positive emotions, you know, uh, searching for something, you know, you also physically have to do something. Mm-hmm. But it's like once you start searching, it just shows up. It's so easy, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so I am not in my own way at this point, right? You know, if I if I maintain this energy and I continue to, because you know, yeah, that's one of the things. I don't want to be in my own way. You know, if I can just clear my way, however I do that, then I can proceed forward, right? Yeah, you you're not. You know, nothing is blocking you, stopping you anymore. Okay. Although those two are just. Hmm. So what can what can I do to reduce that influence of those two dragons, so to speak? You know, what can I do to you so they you, push, you push them you you push them out of the portal? I mean, because you took all the implants out, including chakras, mm-hmm. you disconnected from the dragons. You opened the portal and send them where they belong to, where they came from. You know, they came there. They went there. Mm. You, you can destroy energy, so you can't really destroy them, but you can push them out of your energy sphere. Mm-hmm. It's your energy around you. You just basically what we do in our energy sphere, we can draw with a finger, mm-hmm. literally like a portal, like a door, any mm-hmm. shape and size. Mm. And if something's in your energy sphere connected to you, just like push it out, say, you know, I'm done with you. I I destroy any agreements. In your case, it was more like mental agreement. It, it's not physical. Mm. Um, and, you know, here's your implants. I'm I'm destroying them too, putting them in the portal. That's it. You know, once mm. you discover who's controlling you, this somebody doesn't have control over you anymore. No power. Right. You were right. giving them power by sharing your energy with them without even knowing uh, consciously. That's oh a problem. God. Yeah, That's that is a problem. problem. Yes, yes. So, my other question is, how is my soul? You know, in terms of holding the light. You know, is it makes my soul, you know, having enough strength? Yeah, your your soul is so beautiful and big. But they put this. Remember, I told you like this thingy uh, the, both to, in, to, yeah. keep, to keep you kind of. Yeah, so you couldn't expand your light, you couldn't mm-hmm. make yourself bigger. Now you can make yourself huge. Okay. okay. You just close your eyes and imagine yourself, you know, expanding like like a huge ball of light. Okay. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful feeling. You cleanse your environment also around you that way. Okay. And you you can do any tricks. You can just 
if you go to work, it's like, you know, for now, before you find the new place um, or figure out how to do by on your own, you know, just put like this invisible. I'm invisible, you know, they're in their timeline. I'm in my timeline. I'm mm -hmm. clean now. I'm the one who's creating the world around me. Mm -hmm. So, and that, that actually works. Some of no, my clients do that, yeah. Right, okay, that's good, thank you. See, the other question I have is, how do people view me? You know, my friends or my colleagues, they all they always seem to laugh at me. I mean, before this whole thing happened, when I tell them something, they mock me, they ridicule me. So how how do they view me? Or am I a threat to them? Is that the way they see? Uh, if there's just the wrong people put by those dragons on your way. You know, you know it is. Imagine it's like they take a soul, put it in a container body, mm -hmm. and they create a script. Okay. In this life, he's going to be ridiculed by everybody. We'll put the stupid people on the way who would not resonate with him vibrationally. They'll laugh at him. He'll yeah. feel almost down, suppressed, and not understood and lonely. And, you know, and we'll get this energy to eat, you know, from him. Uh, mm. So that that's basically the, uh, the mechanism. Mechanism, okay. Okay. And then the next question I had is, I have been, you know, I was diagnosed with diabetes like the last couple of years. Before that, you know, I was, I never used to have, I used to eat anything and everything. And so it seems to me this diabetes is kind of like my body signaling something at a, at a deeper yeah. level. I don't know why right away I got chemically induced. Chemically induced? Yes. Which, which might be bad foods or whatever. Uh, childhood something, substances. Mm. That because the, the thing about you, it's like um, because you come from this higher kind of, you know, vi vibrational field, mm. your body has to be like super clean for, and uh, your soul, you're right about signaling also. But it's like they had to be a spot mm -hmm. where everything gets absorbed and you got the system in your body like the organs usually absorb the whatever that is. But I see it's, it comes from the childhood. Any substances that were put into you, injected or whatever, fed to mm -hmm. you as a medicine, I mean that was like caused it and at some point it just kind of went into this. Mm, so it's kind of dual, mm -hmm. but it's mostly physical. It's mostly physical, okay. So it's not in the other layers, right? That's what I was not worried, but you know, I was just thinking, you know, if it is in the other layers too. So mm. no, there was no implant there or anything. Okay. So what can I do to, you know, uh, bring back my health I, and, you know, just to kind of get better at it, I guess. So. I see, I see uh, lots. You know, the, the interesting thing, you didn't really eat. You didn't eat at all. Where you come from, you don't eat, you don't drink. It's it's pure energy. Mm. So for you, it's like the lighter you can eat, the live foods like live, whatever was alive and picked from the mm -hmm. trees, from the ground. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, you know, you you can eat soups too. I mean, when it's right, hot, right, yeah. hot, you know. But right, right. it's like make sure it's vegetable. You know, like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. fruits and veggies. But it's for everybody. But for you, it's important uh, to feel light because you are like that's who you are. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do, do you see anything with my with my bone structure in the sense like you know I feel I mean like you know arthritis or something like that. Yes. Do you see anything there? Remember the strats, great mm -hmm. system made out of strats, mm -hmm. totally going through your muscles, muscle tissues, bones, mm -hmm. everything, organs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it just was a crazy electromagnetic cre like um, structure through which they would put impulses through your body mm -hmm. to, you know, 
mostly to entertain themselves. I mean, that's so it's because I don't see them doing any collaborating with any other, you know, um, beings or anything. Just less two dragons doing it for fun and for energy production. OK, he's going to suffer now from this. OK, mm. he's he's going to produce this energy. We'll love to eat that. Mm. That's that's what I see. I don't see anything mm. else. OK, OK. So. In terms of my aura, our chakras. Chakras are any... taken out. All this chakra overlays are taken out and you're in your Chakras are belonging to the matrix con construct, and that's okay. why they indoors they push the idea in the new age. Okay. Um, you're like a crystalline, uh, transparent kind of translucent energy flow right now without obstacles. Okay. Chakras are supposed to dissect you and create obstacles and problems. Okay. That's why you constantly have to sit in the lotus position and, you know, uh -huh. All right. <laughs> you know, balance them forever. Basically, right, right. You never succeed mm. in balancing them, but sure enough, to distract mm. you from mm. doing something important, you have to balance right. them. So, right. that's all, that's all a misconception, deception. Mm. How is my aura, though? Is there any, is it, is it, is it in a good state? Or is there le holes or leakages or something? Mm, I don't see any more holes and leakages. They they were on the sides for before, but you healed them when you took out those the like, structure construction mm -hmm. of the bow tie out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you yeah, have any any scratches, any whatever. Mm -hmm. So one other thing, you know, I I try to do my meditation, but I'm not able to sit for even a couple of minutes. You know, and then I kind of quit on it and then I come back later and I'm not able to sit on it and mm -hmm. do my meditation for 10, 15 minutes. Electromagnetic greed impulses. They, they would send those impulses though you wouldn't connect with yourself. Oh my God. The same. Mm. It's so like it, you're, you're like this jumpy, right? Right. I feel like jumpy. I want to get up and start moving, right? Right. So that, that's what they were doing. Right. So is so basically now I can go back to it, you know, now that it is gone, I can start working on it again. Right, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to relax. Because mm -hmm. mm. you're at home, that's your energy sphere is your home. Mm. Nobody is there to irritate you, you know. Right, so. right, yeah, that's good. And the same thing, you know, connecting with my higher self. You know, I have, I have not felt anything, even though, you know, I try to. I don't know if there's a way to know it when you're connected to your true self or a higher self. You know, it's it's just the um, the way how you feel and when even when you're about to go to sleep, mm -hmm. that's like the best time for me, for instance, mm -hmm. or when I'm just about to wake up. But mostly when I go to sleep, I feel this amazing vibration in my body. And I know from when I'm going to get out of the body, mm. if I ask myself a question that comes back, you know, mm. as an answer. And that's that's the way you feel. You feel. Um, you feel calm. Mm. You feel like you're in harmony with, with yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have any conflicts. You don't judge yourself. You don't t tell yourself you did. You're not doing something the right way. You're just happy with yourself. You love yourself. You know, it's mm -hmm. all these feelings together. Like mm. you just, you're just happy the way you 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 are. You know, there's no answers unanswered. You know what the process is going to be. Someday you mm. come out of the body and you'll be totally free. Mm. You know what I mean? So right, it's like right. all those things and the knowledge of those things. And you're all about the knowledge for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Very good. Um, how about any anything at all, you know, about my wife or son that you can pick up? I know your wife has some um is like on her legs. What's that again? I cannot... uh, your wife has something on her legs. It almost looks like wires, but they're going in this motion. Mm hmm And what is it doing to her? Or is it impacting her? 
Um, it, it just taken her, um, taken her ma maternal, um, warmth, instinct, something else. Mm hmm mm hmm From her. Mm. Because I see, I see they created some three beings about to do the fourth one. I see Mantis. Mm hmm Trying to put their little babies in her womb. And... And, but the, the, the interesting thing, they, they uh, let it stay for one month only and then take it out. And then the mantis is connected through the wiring system mm -hmm. as if the mantis was the one who is pregnant, but tr transporting all these emotions and feelings of a mother from the energy body mm. to herself and nurturing her own baby as if she was a human. Uh, it's a crazy system. Wow. But you are you're showing that by the way, your son is like a ball. He keeps jumping around. It's like unstoppable. <laughs> That's true. I mean mm -hmm. it's like ding 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 ding. Right. Um mm. yeah, she's um you you give her like a balloon. You see mm -hmm. if you pop the balloon there's inside the information. Mm -hmm. it's, right. like, it's like a guest comes over her with information on her head mm. and she's, she says you always come up with something strange and different something like this <laughs> oh okay who says that? your wife oh, okay to me? Like, like that's <laughs> just a new idea right? And, and you like put like some sort of spell on her because she's like in slow motion goes like <laughs> what is this? What is this? For? Why is the balloon? You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. and then so, you say, well, mm -hmm. how about, you know, you, you make your legs lighter and you'll, you'll be able to walk faster. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> take, that's take a good your, point. Right. Take your things out and right. did you mm -hmm. really want to have an insect inside of you instead of the baby? Right. Yeah. It's just so, like, She's so so disgusted by the thing. She's just like jumped jumped away, and I see her son running. <laughs> it's like a, it's wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. you're trying to help her to take it out. Mm -hmm. And the mantis is the mm -hmm. mantis is connected to some kind of beehive of mantis beings. Ah, okay. Mm. So, how anything at all you see in the relationship? You know, any challenges there, or how do you see? Uh, yeah, she doesn't really. Um, you know, all her warmth and all this uh, that that the woman will have, like closeness and uh, the feelings, mm -hmm. are t were taken by the mantis from her. Ah. Uh. So she's more like precision and planning oriented. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, planning, planning, hard right. plans, and they cold right. and they motion type thing. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm uh, and the sun is like a little sun, literally, uh, like a yeah. sunny energy kind of sunny like oh, you know, right. laughing. Mhm. Mm um, mm -hmm. this man just try to get into your sun. Uh, uh it's like a ah. new gen generation of souls with the sun energy in them. Mhm. Mm no mm -hmm. way they can get him. Mm, that's very he's, good. He's more towards you. He's like, he's. Uh, I, I feel that. Mm. In, in resonance, he's, he's mm. with you in the energy body for sure. Oh, okay. But right. it's hard for him to determine right now mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. is what, and he's not really asking this all this question. He just wants to be happy, and that's all he wants. Right, right. So, yeah, yeah. He's he's he just turned. Um, um, 22, so, yeah. 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 And uh, do you see any new relationship for me in the future? Yeah, you can. You can create the right timeline that you, you are. And I see a move somewhere, too. You move somewhere, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about that, too, so that's why I thought I'll ask, so. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's one of your timelines. Just jump onto it, you know, unfold it, okay. focus on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, and a couple of more questions. One of them is, whenever I'm working, I seem to have my heart kind of racing. It seems to me, even though I'm working, I feel the energy that, you know, I need to keep proving myself all the time, which is not a comfortable place to work from. Like uh, working at your job place? <laughs> yeah, at your job place. I feel like I'm always having to prove myself. Like, yeah, I got the word rejection. Like deep down, you actually reject all these lives. Like I told you, right? You're waiting mm -hmm. for the way out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the workplace is not, it's like a prison for you. It's like a prison of a body, of a mind. Right. And so it's, it's, there's a huge conflict going on. Your soul doesn't want you to be here in this workplace. Wow. And it's through the, this, it indicates to you, hey, you know, it's not what um, your heart desires. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. So when you said, you know, moving out or from where I am, is there a timeline on that or? It's, it's a timeline that you created. It's in the rudimental state. Okay. And you're just going to build it up, you know. To build it up, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm thinking if there is any other questions. Um, I'm okay, okay so far. I think I had a few more questions, but I can't. I don't have my paper in front of me, but that's all right. So, so I'm doing OK, right? In terms of light, you know, they always say, you know what, how much of light you have or how much of darkness. Is there some kind of a number yeah, you can put? Yeah, <laughs> it's just a program. Imagine it's a soft, like it's a computer. We're inside computer, this box, mm. this little prison box. And, mm -hmm. you know, they, they put layers of um, programming. Mm -hmm. And most of it to distract yourself from your own self. What do you mm -hmm. really want? Right, you know, right. why, why do you pay attention to this? Why do you through that you doubt yourself? Oh, I wonder how much light I have. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? It causes doubt and right. doubt creates you like it, it kind of emphasizes, hey, you're a slave to the system. You're doubting mm -hmm. yourself because mm -hmm. whenever you doubt, you can never accomplish anything. Right. You can never become a true creator and they don't want you to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So last couple of questions. Is there any specific crystal that I can that can help me so I kind of can protect my energy better? Here's how it works. First of all, I selenite can help you go in meditation. Mm -hmm. It helped me back then when I started. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, any crystal but I get aquamarine. Aquamarine, okay. Okay, great. Right. But also, um, the energy you give into the belief that something is going to protect you, mm -hmm. that energy will be absorbed by that object. You can mm -hmm. literally pick a stick from outside mm -hmm. or a rock from the mm -hmm. beach and mm -hmm. say, this is going to protect me. Mm -hmm. And because you put it in the pocket every day and believe in it, they would really protect you. Of you know course, what I mean? of course. Absolutely correct. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all in the mind, right? So it's all absolutely the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's very good. Thank you. And the last question is, what should I be focusing on in my daily life? You know, where should I be spending my energy? <sighs> You know, we, we're supposed to enjoy ourselves and find the right thing to do right. to, to to actually feel like we love doing what we're doing mm -hmm. and just just do that. Focus right. on that. Right. That That's a true purpose. There is no mission. There's no purpose, really. Right, no. right. There's mm -hmm. only one mission, you know, uh, live your life to the fullest that you can mm -hmm. to enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. And to figure your way out after you leave the physical body. Just figure Absolutely. out what the mm. plan is when you mm. leave. You know, right. that, that, that's all you do on mm. the on the planet like this that is captured. And, you know, oh boy, you know, but, you know, they may, they have made it so darn difficult, right? That's a challenge, really. <laughs> I mean, it's well, not easy. We're yeah. dismantling the matrix here. So yeah, just don't absolutely. pay too much attention to negative news. Sure, I, that's I don't. Yeah. Thing. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you so very much. You have taken a lot of time to do it. I know it's, I know I, 
it, it, this is fantastic, really fantastic. Thank you. Okay, sure. 108, I looked. <laughs> Let me stop.